Welcome to the tri-wheel. That's very cold on my hands. Hey! Yeah! Sometimes food is cooked with love. Ours is always cooked with frustration. Let's do this! And spin the frame! <laughs> oh, hi. Welcome to the tri-kitchen. We got a brand new show for you today. It's called the tri-wheel. We have three wheels. Ingredients, presentation, and an impediment. Today we will all spin the wheel to decide what mystery dish we're cooking. Thanks to Kroger for sponsoring today's video. Let's get spinning. Today I will be cooking. Spin that wheel, Zach. Spin that wheel. So we got an impediment. Half the time, oh, no. I will be making a soup with tomatoes. Okay, all right. Chicken thighs. Chicken. Come on, strawberries. Strawberries, yeah! That's a plot twist. So with half the time, I will be making a soup with tomatoes, chicken thighs, and strawberries. Let's do this. God. One hand, we're gonna be doing something fried strawberries. <laughs> strawberries are a real treat oh, this no. season. Oh. Ring, 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 and corn. steak. And corn. corn. Okay. corn. Steak, corn, and fried strawberries. Perfect meal. <laughs> it just stops so quickly. A burrito. A, burri a great burrito using only spoons. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna spin this two more times. While this is spinning, we wanna let you guys know that Kroger is the sponsor for today's video. They're always highlighting what's seasonal, what's fresh. It makes it easier for me to plan my meals. Unlike today, where a wheel is planning my meals. What did I get? Eggplant. Eggplant. Oh boy. Kroger is fresh, seasonal. Everything that they do, they put a lot of care into it, and it really shows. I'm making a grape, eggplant, and Steak burrito with only spoons. You know what Kroger believes, zero hunger, zero waste. And we're gonna try and do zero waste again today. Ned, I know that you don't get to use one of your hands, so which one are you getting rid of? Oh, uh, left hand, please. Okay. I'll put it in my pocket. Keep the logo uh, nice. Keep the logo nice. Yeah, keep the keep logo, the logo nice, nice on these new aprons available at tryguys.com. Wow, they're as fresh as Kroger's produce. Tape not included. I can't wait to watch you suck that corn. Now, my impediment, of course, spoons. Uh, this one is, hopefully, gonna be able to cut meat. And for my impediment, I only have half the time, so I'll see you in 30 minutes. Wow, he's frozen. There. Oh, he's gonna be frozen this whole time. Uh, let's get 60 minutes on the clock to make our <laughs> mystery tri-wheel meals in three, two, one, go! go! Okay. okay, all right, first things first, we gotta shuck this corn. Fried food makes me think of carnivals. Wait, I'm saying, okay, I think I got an idea. It's like you're at a carnival, right? You're on the boardwalk, you get a little fried hush puppy, and then some strawberry ice cream in an ice cream cone. A day at the fair. I really just now reached for a knife. I picked up this onion and went, eh, I'll take that knife. I'll take that knife. No, I won't. Oh, my one Okay, hand. all right, get out of here. Using a knife. I like that we have no knives as an option because only spoons is no knives, just worse. Maybe I'll cook down the eggplant with the grapes, throw in some tomatoes and onions and make like a salsa or something, at which point we'll try to roll it up with spoons and put a nice sear on it with spoons. Spoon man! Make the food with just one hand. <laughs> make the food as best you can, spoon man. <laughs> I'm hoping that they also judge on difficulty today because I feel like all of us do have difficult hurdles to get over. Sometimes food is cooked with love. Ours is always cooked with frustration. I really need to marinate this meat to help it break down since I can't cut it with a knife. Nothing's happening here. This is a spoon, right? No! Uh... It's a spoon. Oh my God. <laughs> Pile spices. Oh my everywhere. god, we have buttermilk. Now that's country. What if that was my new catchphrase? <laughs> that's country. Now that's country. <laughs> salt. Oh god. <laughs> it's like I'm playing a salt violin. Where is the salt that's just in the, the thing that I can grab? This is straight up called Mexican seasoning. Perfect. We're making burritos here. Salt. Where's the salt? Right here. Oh god, this is so easy it's for so you. When he's not looking. I'll try and just grab some of his seasoning directly out of his meat. Out of my meat bowl? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we'll match it all on the bottom, oh, then we'll do it again man. on this side. Oh. oh, I see it. Yes, horrible salt. Now that's an innovation. All right, our grapes are hot. <laughs> we don't really know what we're doing with them yet. Ah, this is so hard to open. Ah, I did it! Ha ah. ha! Oh, look at that, Ned! I'm <laughs> basically turning this beautiful flank steak into hamburger meat. Come on. 
<laughs> is strong enough for bell peppers, so that's good. We're gonna make a onion and pepper and eggplant sort of saute, like fajita vegetables. Oh my God, what? Huh? Let's try the big boy. Are you not able to cut into no, it No, it's all? like rubber. What about, yeah, give it a good pack. What is an eggplant? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> what? What is it? Come on now. How do I open this? Oh, Listen I know. That's how I use my knife. <laughs> Disregard the raw steak that's on it. We're just flying by the seat of our pants. All right, so I'm going for like a fried chicken batter. Should feel a little country. Everyone, watch the f out. Ned, that is amazing. Look at you. Pulling out this eggplant, becoming the opposite of a phallic object. All right, the corn I really don't think I need to cook. Wow, there you go, Keith. Here's my my steak. We're just gonna put that into the mixture here with a little bit of steak grease. Never hurt nobody. Okay, plenty of eggplant. Schwaboosh. Schwaboosh. Schwabam. Schwabam. Keith, I feel like you would really like my dish. I love hush puppies. I love corn. I don't know how the strawberries are really gonna go with it all. I'm gonna present you with two things. Just give you those sense memories of like carnivals, boardwalk. Did you ever get a kiss at the top of the fair suite? Oh, you know. I did. Uh, no, oh, I didn't. I did. Okay, so we're gonna let this saute together. We got our wooden spoon. No cheating here. So we're gonna put some garlic and onions into the grapes, and we're gonna add some tomatoes, and just let them stew into a salsa. Let's have a taste. Yeah? Tastes like a hush puppy? Tastes like a hush puppy. I love a good hush puppy. Oceanside Seafood Restaurant, they got hush puppies out. My God. Let's try a few. Yeah, I feel like these are a little too small. Do we have an ice cream scoop? Mm. If we did, I'd have it out. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I thought mine was the hardest, but maybe the gift of fried food is just that. A gift. A gift. <laughs> wow. You got this, bro. Oh, <laughs> I guess that was a better way to do it, but it wasn't a funnier way to do it. A little undercooked. Tastes good. I mean, it tastes like fried cornbread. And Zachary Lundbreeze in three, two, one. Oh! Oh, whoa! Welcome back. Oh, whoa. whoa, what did I miss? Oh, you missed a lot, bro. You missed everything. 30 minutes left? I gotta get moving. Even though I have half the time and I am the least experienced chef, I think I have the easiest of the guys. You know, tomato soup, that's a thing. With chicken, mwah. I got one little weird ingredient, strawberries, no biggie. But I think I'm gonna challenge myself just a little bit today. I'm gonna make a gazpacho. I only have half the time, so I'm gonna do as little actual cooking today as possible. Uh, I'm not gonna look up a recipe because I don't believe in it. So it says gazpacho is more of a drink than a soup. <laughs> <laughs> How much tomato do I need? That looks, cause I was gonna do eight tomatoes and there's no way I can fit eight tomatoes in here. I do like tomatoes, they're good. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a little taco sauce into this uh, salsa. You know, taco sauce has raisins in it. This has grapes in it. Should work out well. <laughs> looks like salsa. Smells like ketchup. I'm gonna put the skewers in a potato. Nope. Uh-oh. Ned's steak and corn hush puppies. Wow, are you done? I'm done with part one. Wow, look at that. Did you take the onion? I took an onion, but I got some left. I need a white onion. How much? Ah, uh, one of them, that's what I asked. When you said, oh, there's plenty of onions, you didn't say, but don't I use the white onion, Keith. Yeah, you said you were using the red one. You guys are arguing about onions? All right, I guess I'm gonna do half white, half red, and hope for the best. Now, every recipe always calls for like one garlic clove, but the more the better. That's right. One trick that I wrote about in our date night cookbook, available at datenightcookbook.com, is soaking strawberries in sugar and it'll make like a little strawberry sauce. And I'm gonna try and see if it can get a little strawberry sauce infused through the ice cream. I have two peppers. I assume this one will be spicier because its color is scarier. Oh yeah, that's a scary little pepper. All right, time to blend my ingredients. Here we go. Here. Oh no. Here we. You got the sack. 
It says it's on. How does this thing work? No lights on. How the f does Blender work? Is it plugged in? I think this dish could use some more butter. So I don't really know how to use this. Chop it up, I guess, and then mash some strawberries in there. Oh, that's cold. That's very cold on my hands. How did you do this in without a recipe, Keith? I use two hands. E ah, oh, oh, oh. oh, it's so slippery it's over here. It's very slippery over Oh there. my God. It's all the oil. Oh my God. How's that? How's I don't that know going? yet, let's see. Are you putting any strawberries in it? Not yet. Whatever. I'm not the one eating it. This chicken is not cooked all the way through. Uh oh. Ten, Ten minutes. minutes. Are you oh. with me? We're getting close. Raw chicken. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Everybody's got some of the stuff. Uh, oh god, it's so slippery. This is hazardous. Yeah. Yeah. How much time? How much? Seven. It's like I was given half the time to do this recipe. The steak is actually done in a wonderful place. It's like a nice medium. I am worried that the way that I have to shred it is the way that will be harder to chew. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, all right. Got five minutes. Five minutes. I'm putting my soups in the freezer to give them that nice chill. I'm taking my ice cream out of the freezer. Shit, oh, come easy, on. Easy, easy, easy. Oh God, it's too wet. I'm gonna double wrap them. My chicken is raw. My strawberries are uncut. Come on. Uh, my ice cream's melted. I need more freezer time. Oh yeah, that's hard to chew. 30 seconds left. Okay. Why, it won't sear. Cook. Come on. Be a stupid Just hot plate. Cook. You what? You want to be raw? You've been cooking for 20 minutes, you dumb bird. It looks like it's done. This is, is pink. Yeah, because it's dark meat. Oh shit. It's cooked. All right. Five. Ah, drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Ah, only got one hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nick. Try Guys producer and also magazine food critic. I'm Alexandria, Try Guys associate producer and food baby. Hi, I'm Rashawn Nadine Scott. I'm fan favorite and alum of the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, judges. I had to make fried corn steak strawberries and I only had one hand to do it. I, judges, I want to take you back to that perfect summer day. Maybe you went to the boardwalk. Maybe you went to a carnival. I have given to you a steak and and corn hush puppy served with strawberry ice cream. Sorry, then what? <laughs> just, <laughs> I'll just snap that off. I didn't get any steak yet, but I like it. I'm craving the dip. I thought about the dip, which is why I invite you to move on to the dippiest dip of all, oh, a delicious ice cream cone, where I made a sweet strawberry mixture, and then I mashed up a bunch of vanilla ice cream and just kind of smushed it all together. It's very strawberry heavy, but mm -hmm. I like it. Maybe I'll go the other way. Mm -hmm. The strawberries, I want to be a little bit more blended in mm. there. It's kind of like little blocks of strawberry ice mm. within the ice cream. I'm going back to one of these. I like the fresh kernels of corn in there. Personally, I don't care for big kernels of corn. Okay. The steak gets a little lost. This is oh, about the size of steak that I've got. You did create maybe two separate courses mm -hmm. and not one cohesive meal. I was thinking the same thing, but if I'm going to the fair, I'm not getting hush puppies and then also a corn dog or something. I'm getting hush puppies and a dessert. So this kind of works for me. Good job. Thank you, judges. Yes. Now, judges, I was tasked with taking grapes, eggplant, and steak and making a burrito, but I could only use spoons as my utensils. I don't know if you've ever made a burrito. Spoons are rarely involved. Oh wow, it looks pretty good inside. It's a burrito! Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of steak and a lot of vegetable, but it's like two different flavor mm -hmm. combinations mm -hmm. going on. I've, this is my first bite and I'm still chewing the meat. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's hard to chew. Okay, it's very flavorful. I'll give you that. Love it. The vegetables taste fresh. Honestly, I can't tell what is the eggplant and what is the meat. Success. <laughs> I don't know. Everything's mushy except for the steak, but then there's the grape flavor. 
So it's not like the craziest thing, but like my brain's having trouble. Sounds like all the things you're confused about are what the wheel gave you. <laughs> so not on me. The vegetables are cut really well. That is um, and I think even for the steak, I wouldn't have guessed that you were using a spoon. I just would have guessed you didn't cook it very well. But it's because. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I take a bite? I feel like I'm still chewing as I see him chewing. <laughs> Should I use more salt? <laughs> <laughs> That's it? That's all? What it do, judges? For today's challenge, your boy had half the time to make a soup out of tomatoes, strawberries, and chicken. So I decided to make a gazpacho. I finished it off with some chicken and balsamic strawberries. The garlic is really coming through. Hell yeah. Very. That's what you want. So is it raw it's garlic or cooked down garlic? Garlic, baby. Wow. <laughs> Alex's face is telling the story. I just got a chunk of strawberry mm. and it's already teetering on like is it a soup? And then the strawberry with it, it's just like, I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and blame that one <laughs> on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not too bad. This would be like an amuse-bouche. Probably best as a shooter, TBH. I also think if this is a shooter, I would not be able to keep it down. <laughs> oh, wow. I think that this would almost work better for me at warmed up and as a sauce on top of chicken. Huh. I don't know, the strawberries still need to be separated out. And while perhaps all ingredients did not work together, let's keep in mind that I did put them all together. <laughs> you really put them all together. <laughs> you did it, Zach. You did it. <laughs> Third place, we appreciated the constraint this person had. However, we don't think that it necessarily excuses some of the textures and flavors that happen in this dish. So I am sorry to say, Zach, you are in third place. Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as surprised as you. I was gonna give more of a response, but I'm, I'm cool to not. <laughs> I had half the time and I have half the things to say. <laughs> the following two dishes, we feel they were classics, so they were executed in the best way possible. But overall, this person who's won did the most with their time. Technically, the winner is Ned. Yeah! Oh, thank you, judges. Thank you. We will ah. definitely order your hush puppies and your ice cream again. Well done. Ah, thanks. I'm so sorry that we had bad judges today, but we did have excellent ingredients. Slander. Thanks. Lies. Lies. We did agree, Keith, that you take tops and scariest person to face off with. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's great.